to a new tutorial series. This time I'll be showing you how to code uh, Minecraft Spigot plugins, which will make your server really cool. And um, yeah, that's all I have to say about it. I'm assuming if you're watching this video, you know what a Spigot plugin is. And uh, yeah, so within this little series, we're gonna try and do everything as simply as we can and um, as like as as efficient as we can. So one way we could do that is by using um, IntelliJ, of course, which is the IDE that I use for Java, and I've used it with all my Java videos. But um, we're gonna need this plugin here, which allows us to create Spigot plugins really easily inside of the uh, IDE. So go to settings, and then go to plugins right here, and then click browse repositories. So then up here, type Minecraft, and then hopefully, if you did it right, you should find this, and then you'll you'll um, have an install button here. So you just click it, and then restart your IDE, and then now it'll be all good. So from there, file new project. We're gonna make a Spigot plugin. So just click that, and there we go. Make sure you have, uh, I guess, 1.8, whatever. And then next, and so here we have to do some things. We can set the version for our plugin, of course, and then make sure this is set on Maven because I barely even know how to use Maven, but we're gonna use Maven. And uh, yeah, so for, for this part, this is where we put our package. So usually when you create a package in Java, you just put like something like me dot your name. So me dot Illuminati production, something like that. So you do the same thing. Or if you have a website, you could do like com, it's like backwards. So com dot YouTube, something like that, you know, if you had a website of your own. And so here is where you put your plugin name. So for, we'll make our first plugin. So we'll call it first plugin. Okie dokie, so there we go, it's all filled out for us and we can change the version if we want to right here. And so here we can set the Minecraft version, so that's all really useful, because it automatically um, gives you the Spigot version that you need once you select it. And so here we can set the um, some settings for our plugin here. Um, so we'll give it a description here, so this is our first plugin. The author's Illuminati Productions, it has to be one word, so. And you have multiple if you separate it with a comma. But anyway, it's just us, right? And then we have a website, so I'll put my channel, or I could put my channel, but I'm not going to do it. And yeah, some other settings, but we're just going to need this, and we're good to go. So click Next. And so now we have the file save location where we want our project to be. So I'm going to give a name of also first plugin. That's usually what you can just call it. Just give it your plugin name. So that's good, and you set where you want it to be, and I'm going to just keep it here. So all good, and now it'll finish. So now it's loading up. And we're going to click this and then select 1.8 and then click OK. And then we're good to go on that. And now everything's just going to load here. So um, I like to click uh, Enable Auto Import, although I don't know exactly what that does. So just click it because it works for me. So looks like we're done. So we can start coding already. So what it did is it created our plugin here and gave us all the resources we need. It gives us uh, the whole Spigot API so we can use it now and code with the Spigot. And um, yeah, so we can do some pretty cool stuff. So now we have uh, our, a template, basically we have a template. And this is really helpful because it's really tedious to type all this bull crap out. So um, having the plugin with the ID is really helpful. So um, it gives us, you have to extend Java plugin whenever you're making a Java plugin in your main class or whatever. And then you have to have these two methods here. You don't have to have this one, but you have to have this one, I believe. So. Here are the two, um, they're methods, right? These are methods, hopefully you know what a method is. And they are triggered whenever your plugin starts up as that's why it's called on enable and when it shuts down. So that's why it's called on disable. And these comments are pretty helpful for a reason. So let's try and test this out. Um, so what you can do to access the Minecraft um, or Spigot library, you can do like Spigot, oh, Spigot. Then you have all these options, like just a bunch, bunch of crap. So you'll get used to all these options. It can get kind of confusing. But so what I like to do, let's print out, print out a message into the console whenever it starts up. So git uh, git logger dot log or no, no dot info. Yeah, I think this is how you do it. <laughs> I'm not too sure actually. Or you can just do this, really you can just do sout, um, system output and then you can put whatever you want. So it is now started up. And then here we can put the plugin is now shut it, shut down, not shut it down. 
And so that should work. So we have our first plugin here. So all it does is whenever the plugin starts up, it'll say that. And whenever it starts stops, it'll say that. And so what we need to also have is in your key, it puts it here whenever the Minecraft thing makes it, it puts the plugin.yml here, but we need one of these inside of here. We just have the information for our plugin. So as you can see, it puts our description that we made, the version, it's automatically loaded. That's why we have that. Then we have the package, then we have the author, and then the plugin name. So that's all good to go. And so later on when you make commands and stuff, you got to add like a command section, but don't worry about that yet. That's later on. So from there, we're actually good to go. So what we're going to do is go to view, tool windows, oops, and then find Maven projects. So click that. We're going to make this a little smaller. So we'll go to life cycle here. Then we'll go, ooh, yeah, open in life cycle and then right click package and then click run. So now it'll just uh, compile our package or whatever it needs to do and load it up and create our plugin for us. So now it's done. So we can open this up here, the target. This is where our plugin is outputted here. So this is our plugin right here. I don't know, I'm not sure what this one does, but this is our official plugin. So right click this and then open, show and explore. So this will open our file explorer here and then now we can access it and move it to wherever we want to have it. So I'm just gonna copy it, control C. And um, then we're gonna go to my uh, test server here. And if you don't know how to make a test server, just watch my other video. The link will be in the description and it'll show you how to make a Minecraft server. So where I have my test server is right here. So we're gonna go to plugins and we're gonna get rid of these old plugins. I don't exactly need them right now. Actually, we'll keep trashy can because I'm working on that. And so just paste this in here. You don't have all these probably because you don't have any other plugins, assuming you don't. And so here's our plugin. Now it's in the server. So we can start up our server here. And as we're hoping that it works correctly, it should print out the message that our plugin loaded. Let's see. There it is. It is now started up. That's our uh, start message right there. So that's exactly what we said. Cool. So let's try stopping our server. And it says the plugin is now shut down. So that's awesome. So now we know that it actually works. That's our first plugin. It's so simple, but it's really cool. And uh, yeah. So let's run it again and let's get on the server so just so that we can see it works. Okay, so let's go to Minecraft here. So localhost will be your the IP that you'll need to access, of course, if it's like a home server. Sorry if you hear my little brother, he's a little monkey. And uh, yeah, so now we're on the server. Pretty cool, it's all loaded up. So if you do slash PL, it'll show all the plugins that we have and it shows our first plugin. So that's awesome because now we know that it works. And so yeah, so congratulations, you made your first plugin. I hope it was uh, enjoyable for you. And this, if this seems too uh, simple, you know, um, don't worry. Next episode and the episodes beyond that, we'll be, we'll be doing some really cool stuff. And so, yep. So I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like if you liked it. Subscribe if you want to see more. And um, leave a comment if you need help and I'll help you. Because you're sure, you're bound to get errors with this crap. Like this, you can find many errors whenever you're coding with this plugin type stuff. But anyway, just leave a comment if you need help. Subscribe if you want to see more. And peace.